Welcome everyone to another 20 minute workout. This time we are doing a beginner reformer workout. So this is perfect for people who are just starting out because it's 20 minutes long so it's enough time for you to really get a full body workout and also start to understand some of the basic concepts. It's also great for people who just want a a little bit of a lower intensity workout uh, that for 20 minutes, maybe they don't have a lot of time, maybe they're a little sore from other workouts that they've done. So any of those reasons would be great or just to get on the reformer for a little while and do some work. So we're gonna do, again, beginner level exercises and I'm gonna start with footwork. I'm starting with three heavy springs and my headrest is up. I'm gonna come down onto the carriage here and for today, we're gonna start with our heels on the foot bar right in line with your sit bones. So this is actually a really good place for new people to start because they don't have to bring their legs all the way together, which can be uncomfortable for some people if they're tight in the hips. And also it's easier to kind of press out and control the movement when you're pressing out with your heels. So guys, just start pressing out and let's talk about your breath for a second here. What I want you to do is exhale as you're pressing out, blowing like you're blowing through a straw. That's gonna help you get some engagement of the deep abdominals. And then as you inhale, when you return, inhale through the nose. The most important thing about your breathing today that I want you to focus on is just continually breathing and not holding your breath for any of the movements. And again, we're gonna exhale to press out. You don't wanna snap your knees here and then return. And you really don't wanna feel like you're changing the position of your pelvis. You should be able to feel where the back of the hips are on the carriage and they should stay in that same spot as you go out and in. And let's do one more here and return. Now, I'm gonna switch this. I'm still gonna have my feet apart here, just hip distance apart in line with the sit bones. So that's the bones that you feel when you're sitting on your bum. And I'm gonna put the balls of my feet on and my heels lifted. From here, I press out and come back in. Same breathing, you're gonna exhale away and inhale to return. Get really good control here. So at the end of the movement, you don't wanna snap or hyperextend your knees. You wanna feel that control throughout the entire range of motion. I also want you to focus on pressing out through the ball of the foot at the same spot, pretty much between the great toe and second toe on the ball of the foot. And again, press out, exhale, inhale, return. Now let's do that one more time. And you're gonna hold it out here and from here, this is one of my favorite exercises. It's called lower and lift. So it's a heel raise. You drop your heels under the bar and then lift them back up. I like it because it not only works the calves, but when you're in your bare feet, it also works all the muscles, the deep muscles in the foot and the ankle. So it's really good because a lot of us have shoes on the whole day and your foot is kind of cramped in there. So it's really good to get some mobility and strength in the muscles down there. So what I want you to think about is again, staying on that same part of the ball of the foot. You're exhaling to go under, inhaling to go up, and you're right between the great toe and the second toe the whole time. Should be feeling that at this point. Let's just do one more here and lift, and then bend your knees and come all the way in. Now, we're gonna move on and we're gonna do a little upper body work. So what I want you to do is just adjust your springs. I'm gonna go down to one heavy and one light, but you can keep it at too heavy if you like, and you can even go down to just one. Then I'm gonna come a little bit away from the shoulder rest here, and I'm gonna take the straps into my hands, like so. Then I'm gonna start with my arms reaching up toward the ceiling. If you've got shorter straps, you might wanna grab those for range of motion, and then bring your legs into tabletop here. From here, you're gonna pull your arms down, and then reach them back up. Exhale to pull them down and come back up. This is really good for working the muscles in the back of the shoulder. You're gonna get a little tricep work out of this and even a little bit of the lat will work. And exhale, pull and inhale, return. Now, you should be in what we call a neutral position in your uh, spine and that means you have a little space between your lower back and the carriage. If that's really bothering your hip flexors, sometimes the muscles in the front will start to what we call grip. You'll feel them tensing too much. You can tip your pelvis back here so that your spine goes more toward an imprint. And again, pull down and come back up. Let's do three more 
and two, and one. Now all I'm gonna do from here, hold your arms by your sides. Now turn your arms so that your palms are facing your hips and then reach out to the sides and exhale, pull down. Breathe in as the arms go out and you're gonna exhale to pull. And open out and pull down. And again, open out and pull. And let's do five more here. Pulling in, open out. So you should feel this underneath the arm. The lats are really getting some work here and even your pecs are getting some work, your chest muscles a little bit. Pulling down, two more. Exhale, pull, inhale, open. And one more time and hold, again, hold the arms down by your side. Now turn your arms so that your palms face down again and then flex your elbows and we're gonna do some triceps here. Now for today, let's keep the elbows above the carriage, just above the carriage and stationary. And exhale, press. Shoulders slide away from your ears. Inhale to bend. And press. And bend them. You notice I'm coming really close to my shoulder here. I want to get nice full range of motion. And now let's do five more. Five. Inhale and then exhale. Four. And three. And two. One more time. And one. Okay, now you can just put the straps close by. We're gonna change our resistance and we're gonna go into some feet and straps work. So I'm gonna go back up to two heavy springs and then safely getting into the straps, you're gonna push out on the foot bar, take one foot up, put your foot in that strap and then press into the strap to secure the carriage and then place the other foot up in it. Now from here, we're gonna start with your legs in uh, parallel. So legs are together, knees and toes pointing up, and then you're gonna push out and then return. So bend and stretch. Exhale, press, inhale, return. Now, this is about really increasing the mobility in the hip joint and the knee joint. So what I want you to think about is bringing the knees in as far as you can without the tailbone curling up. You wanna keep the tail down and then exhale out. And breathe in, and out. Now once you get this down, relax your arms and shoulders, you shouldn't be gripping the end of the carriage. Once you get this down, you wanna point the toes as you press out, and then flex the feet as you come in. Exhale out, inhale to return. Most people fall in love with the strap work, it feels really good, and one more. You're gonna hold this one out. Now with your legs straight, but not hyperextended, you're gonna lift up and feel this really gorgeous stretch in the hamstrings here. Now use your abs and your glutes to pull back down. So breathe in, you get that stretch, your hips are sinking into the carriage, not getting lighter, and lower down. So you want your pelvis to get heavier on the carriage, not lift up, so you get a true stretch in those hamstrings. Inhale up. Remember, don't pull from behind the knees. You want to pull from behind the seat. So don't lock the knees out. Breathe in the legs, lengthen up. Exhale to draw down. And again, lifting up and lowering down. We're going to do one more just like this, getting that really good stretch and then contracting that muscle. Now we're going to stretch out the inner thighs. So you're going to bring the legs up, breathing in. You're going to exhale, reach them open, bring them back together. Do that again, stretch them out bring them back together and come down. So you inhale, the legs are gonna come up and they're gonna get as vertical as you can get them. And then you reach out to the sides with the toes. So stretch them out there, feeling that stretch in the inner thighs. Just do it twice and then pull back down. Again, you're gonna breathe in, the legs come up. You're gonna exhale, reach and together, reach and together and lower back down. Let's do two more sets of that, lifting up, and reach, come together, reach, come together, and exhale down one more time. Holding the carriage still here, get that good stretch, and out, and down. Now you're gonna bend your knees and you're gonna take the straps off your feet, return the carriage, and then come on up, and from here, we're gonna go into some seated back row. So you're gonna lower the foot bar down, 
and I'm gonna go to just one heavy spring here. Hey guys, before we continue the workout, I just wanna tell you about John Gary TV. On John Gary TV, you'll see workouts like this without any ads or any interruptions. We have literally thousands of workouts on John Gary TV. We've got mat workouts, reformer workouts, all kinds of workouts, and we have lots of different subscriptions so you can find the one that's perfect for you. If you check out our link above, you'll see that your subscription is 50% off your first month. I hope you'll join me over on John Gary TV and now let's get back to work. Now you can either, there's a couple different things you can do here. You can sit with your legs folded like this if that's comfortable. Make sure you've got a little room behind you about a hands width distance. You can take your legs on the outsides of the shoulder rests or you can take your legs on the insides of the shoulder rest which is traditional. Mine don't fit, yours might not either. That means you have to cross one leg over the other. So pick one of those, doesn't matter which one, as long as you can sit up nice and tall. You can even sit up on top of something to help you. We're gonna press back here with the straps in our hands sitting tall and press back. So this is very similar to what we did when we were laying down, except the range of motion is different here. Now I can press back past my body. Couldn't do that because I was laying down on the carriage before. And as you do that, you don't want your shoulders to roll forward. You want to keep them open as you press back. Open in the front, open in the back. And reach. You should also be holding your spine as steady as possible. You'll know if you're not because your rib cage might push out. You don't want that to happen. Two more. Use your exhale as you press so your abs can help you. Keep the ribs in place. Let's do one more here. Press back and come forward. Then we're just gonna take the strap, bring it up to your elbow here, and we're gonna do open elbows. I love this exercise for posture because it works all the muscles across the top, back of the shoulders, right through the center of the back. And you exhale open, inhale slowly close. Now my palms are gonna face me the whole way around, which means I'm turning them. So they face me in the front and then as I rotate to the sides, they face me there. But I think about reaching the elbows out as far as I can, not just straight back behind me, but really out to the sides and back. And exhale, open and close. Let's do four more. Reach and come back to center. Three more, open and back. And again, reaching open and one more time. They should be really feeling it in the back of the shoulders. Now, if you haven't recrossed your legs already, it's a good idea to do that every few repetitions. Uh, let's do it now. And we're gonna have some room behind us because you're gonna be rolling back, so be careful. Have a strap in each hand, sit tall, breathe in. And then you're gonna exhale and you're gonna roll the pelvis back and you're gonna sink into this flex position. Now your hands pull in toward your chest here, but they don't touch. Take a big breath in for me. And then now you're gonna take that whole rounded spine over the legs and you're gonna stack back up, relaxing the arms forward. So this is just our roll down. Exhale, use your glutes to tuck the tailbone under so you can tip the pelvis back and really sink down. Don't lean back like this, you wanna sink down toward the carriage. Then come forward over the legs and then stack the spine back up. And again, exhale, rolling back, breathe in. Exhale again to come over the legs, and from there you're gonna stack back up. And again, roll on back. Breathe in. Flex over the legs, and then stack back up to the top. Again, pulling in on the abs, thinking of getting that spine in a really tight C curve. Then come forward, and come all the way up, and one last time. Roll back, breathe in, now flex over the legs and come back up. Okay, now from here, we're gonna sit and face the side. So we're gonna get a little more movement of the spine here. I'm gonna keep it at one spring. I'm gonna have a seat. Again, I'm folding my legs, but for some people, you know, it's really, you can be really tight in the hips. So grab a cushion or a stack of towels or something to sit on to raise your seat up if that's the case. Then grab the strap in front with the hand closest to it and lace the other hand around it and form a circle with your arms. Breathe in. Now as you exhale, you're gonna turn your rib cage and come back. I want you to focus on where you feel 
the weight. It should be on both sit bones as even as possible so you're not leaning to one side or the other. You're rotating and thinking of turning up, spiraling upward, and come back. If you look over your hands the whole time, this is gonna help you turn everything together. You want the ribs, arms, and head to all turn at the same time so you're really focused on those obliques. And rotate for five, and another four, Pull with your abs, not your arms. Three, and exhale. Two, and one more time. Turn, hold it for half a second, and then come back. Now, we're gonna stay here, and what I want you to do is bring your foot bar back up to the top, and you're gonna turn your legs back toward the shoulder rest, so they kinda zigzag, right? Front leg, uh, one leg is folded in front of you, the other leg is folded back toward the shoulder rest. And we're gonna do our mermaid. If this is uncomfortable, you can just sit this way like we just were. So from here, you're gonna lift this arm up and then you're gonna push away from the foot bar and just bend over to the side. Come back up and lower that arm down. Then reach the other arm up and stretch over toward the pulleys and come up and down. You're gonna breathe in here. Now exhale over. Come on back up, breathe in, and exhale down. Let's do that to the other side. Reaching up and going over, coming up and down. Let's do that again. Up and over last time. And to the other side, lifting up and then bending over and coming back. Now, let's go all the way around to the other side and we're gonna start with our spine twist. So grab the strap, front strap with the hand closest to it Lace the hand around, turn your body to face that strap so the sternum lines up with the strap, and then exhale, turn, inhale, come back, and rotate again, and come back. And let's do that again, turn, and come back, and turn, and back, and exhale. Remember, keep everything moving together, the head, the shoulders, the arms, and your rib cage all turn. That means your obliques, your rotators of the spine are what's making the movement happen. And three more. Turn and come back. Turn and come back. And one more. Rotate and come back. All right, now we're gonna turn our legs and we're gonna do the mermaid on this side. So turn your legs toward the shoulder rest. Have a seat as comfortably as possible. Reach your arm up, push away and side bend over. Come back up and lower down, other side. Reach up and come over and up and down. Breathe in, now exhale, press away. Come on back up and down, other side. Reaching up, flex over, come up and down. Let's do that one more time, reaching up. Press away and flex over. Come up and down and other side, reach and over and up and down. All right, now just turn and face the foot bar here. We're gonna do one more exercise with the straps. So I'm gonna take, and then we'll, and then we'll go into a, a leg stretch. But what I wanna do is just have a seat facing the front. I'm gonna have a strap in each hand. I'm still using one heavy spring. I'm gonna reach the arms forward and then I'm gonna open them out. I'm gonna come back to the front and then bring them back in. Reach and open, close and come in. Now, as I open the arms, I'm gonna lift my chest and I'm gonna get a good stretch there. I'm taking the spine into extension. Then come back, facing front, arms in front, and then lower back. Exhale forward. Now inhale, reach out and open up. Exhale forward and come back in and one last time. Press and reach and open up and then come back in and return. All right, now I'm gonna come off the reformer. We're gonna do our final exercise, which is going to be single thigh stretch from the floor. So I'm gonna start with one heavy and one light spring. My foot bar is up. I'm gonna take my hand, my foot, closest to the reformer as my back leg and it goes against the shoulder rest. My other foot goes right here, right next to the front of the reformer on the floor. 
and I come into this lunge. I'm gonna sink down and press back. Come forward and up. Now my hands are on the foot bar, but I'm not really pushing with my arms. I'm pushing with my legs. Press and come forward and up. And again, I'm gonna exhale down and press. Inhale forward and up. Two more. Sink down, abs in. Don't let the hips turn. Try to keep them square to this front as much as possible. Last one. Sink and press back. Forward and up. All right, let's do that to the other side. This is such a great stretch. You can do really any time. And it really helps to open up the front of the hip here and a little bit of the hamstring on that front leg. Not too much, but you might feel a little stretch if you're really tight. So come down, push back. So you notice the chest stays lifted. I sink, now I push with my feet, keeping my arms just kind of relaxed there on the bar. And exhaling. And up one more time here. Finish strong, push back, forward and up. And that does it. That is our beginner reformer workout. Just 20 minutes, but it's a full body workout. Do it a few more times and get really good at it. And then try some of our other beginner workouts. Thanks for joining me. See you next time.